Hello and welcome to the third tutorial where we would be talking about data types. So till now we have learned about variables and we have assigned values to variables. So the values, all the values have their own data types. If we talk about different data types, there are few like int, that is known as the integer or the number. There is str, which is string. And the third one is float. We also have one more data type that is known as bool or boolean. Right now, I pressed control forward slash. This commented this line. What is commenting the line? Commenting the line basically means that if you run the program, it won't make any change. That means if you're writing a very big program and if you write some comments in between, that won't make any change to your program. And why do we use comments? Comments are basically used to give the reference of the program. Now, let's say if you're writing a very big program of um, finding out whether the number is odd or even, what would you do? You would write down your logic and let's say it is a very complicated logic. If you write down comments that how you have implemented that logic, it will be easier for you to recall later when you come back again to the code to have a look at it. And just not that, if I would be looking at your code, it will be much more easier for me to understand that what was your approach while doing the problem. So comments helps in lots of ways. For the time being, I use control forward slash, which made a hash. You can just simply write down comments like this also. As well as there is one more way where you can write down multiple line comments. That is with the help of these three double quotes together. This is known as doc string as well. You can write down literally multiple line comments and it won't give an error. And if I run this, have a look, nothing got executed because these all are comments. For single line, you need to give a hash. And if you want to write down multiple lines, you need to give a this three altogether that is known as triple quotes altogether. Now, let's come back to the data types. The first data type which we talked about was int. That is a number. It stores integers. It can be positive number, negative number. It can be anything. So basically, to declare an int variable, we simply pick up a variable. So I'll just write down a equals to 10. This means that this is a integer. Now, after this, what? let's actually see whether this is an integer or not. For that, there is another function, print type. Type would actually show you what is the data type of that integer, or I'm sorry, the variable. So let me just run it and have a look. See, it says class int. INT means integer. 
I can also try out one more thing over here. That is instead of 10, if I write down 10.5, what will it do? Have a look. It changed to float. Right? That means floats are nothing but decimals. So there are two kinds of data types which we saw till now. One was integer, another one was float. Now let's talk about string. String is the first ever thing which you did was hello world. It was inside two quotes, right? That is known as a string. So if I write down B is equal to hello world. And if I try to see type of this thing, and I'll just simply run the code, have a look. It says class string, right? So let's say if I assign C is equal to T with a capital T, If we assign C equals to true with a capital T and try to print the type of C, it gives me a bool. If you also write down something like false over here and try to run the code again, just have a look, it still says cool. But if I write something else without quotes, let's say null, that doesn't exist. It is not defined. If I write this down in quotes, definitely yes, then it would be said that it's a string. So now you understood about how integers are written, how strings are written, how floats and how booleans are written. Now, after this, I would like to tell you about typecasting. Typecasting basically means that converting one data type to another. Right now in front of you, A is equal to 10.5 and the type of A is float, right? So now let's do something. Let's convert the type of A to string. That means the one which you are seeing right now as a float, we will change that to a string. And yes, this is possible, but the vice versa is not possible. You can't convert a string to a number, unfortunately. A string will always remain a string. So let's try doing that. If we write down print str, that means string A and if we try to run it, have a look. We see 10.5, but we don't really see any difference. So let's store it in a value. Let's store it in a variable. Type change. Okay. So this is a meaningful variable where you will understand that this is what type change is doing. Now over here, if I print the type of type change and try to run it, have a look, it says that it's a string, right? So initially it was a float and we changed it to string. We can do the same thing for an integer too. If we try, like have a look over here. I'm just changing it back to 10. It was integer and now it's a string. After that, 
changing of type by writing down strA.